everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. Today we're going to make a quick video about hooking up electric fans to an 03 up GM truck that did not come equipped with them. It's a fairly easy install. The way I recommend doing it is going to a salvage yard or a pick and pull yard and finding an 05 up GM truck or SUV that has electric fans. Uh, please note that you will need to pull the fans, the front light harness, and you probably want to take the radiator with it if it's compatible for your setup. Uh, this truck here has one in it that uh, has the oil cooler. Uh, the truck that it came out, or this truck does not have an oil cooler, so it doesn't, you know, those ports aren't being used. But take the front light harness, take the, uh, the fan relay part of it as well. It's all, you know, integrated together. Take the fans and take the radiator necessary. What you also may want to do is uh, go to the PCM and pull out the extra wire. Uh, there's a plug right here, this plug right here. It's a blue and green wire with a two, two um, hole connector on it. You might want to go back to the the, uh, the actual ECM side of it, the harness, and pull that out as well, which I can actually show you. If you come over here, we've got another harness, and the plug you're looking for is going to be right there. You can just de-loom this and then go pull it out of the actual connector itself right there. And... Uh, you know be able to plug and play it completely without having to add any wires well unfortunately this is a customer truck that uh kind of meshed two trucks together and one had a bad motor and i'm not sure exactly what he was thinking when he did the swap but obviously the truck that uh this truck should have had electric fans and now when he put a whole other drivetrain in it obviously it's doesn't have electric fans and throwing codes to the PCM. So he had to go find some electric fans since he already junked the other stuff and uh, brought me the whole setup and just had to make it work. So unfortunately, since I wasn't prepared in this kind of a last minute Friday night deal, uh, I went and found some extra pigtails that I had uh, for some harnesses I had made or you know stripped out for uh, LS standalone stuff. Uh, so the colors aren't correct, but uh, Basically, I'm going to do it the, the correct factory way with these wrong colored wires. So you're going to take your, your two wires, and if you, if you unpin these with the other connector out of the ECM, like I said, it would be completely plug and play. Anyway, you're going to need to go to your, your connector, take off the, the gray caps back here. And they can be kind of a pain. You might stab yourself trying to get them out. They're kind of, they're kind of a pain to do. But anyway, it's pretty simple. You'll take the gray, the, the gray cap off. You also need to take the blue uh, lock and the green lock out from the corresponding side. And here are the wires you're going to need to put in or stab in. So the green wire or green wire on pin 42 and the blue connector. So it should be right over here someplace. 42, right there, right. Let's see, right here someplace, I think, right there. And then also the blue wire, which we go into pin 33 on the green connector over yonder. And you'll stab those two in. They're fairly simplistic to do. You probably want to get yourself a, a, pick, a flat pick tool like this. And once you go into the back of the connector, I'm not sure if I can do this one handed here. See in the back of the connector, there's like a rubber uh, nipple that comes through. If you use this and go through there and kind of break it and push it through, uh, you can kind of break that seal and then once you go insert the pin right here once you go insert the pin it'll slide through and then it's going to catch on the lock right there and then once it catches on the lock in this little hole right here there's be like a little arm that comes down into that groove it'll keep the pin from pulling out so once you add those two if you're just going to do it with a, the method like i've got right here um, with just the uh, the bare wire, uh, what I recommend is going and getting yourself uh, a connector in case you ever have to pull this apart. I mean, you could use butt connectors, but I recommend going in a weather pack, two hole weather pack connector, uh, which is what we're going to do here. The wiring schematic just not going to follow the correct colors going to the ECM, but the uh, they will match up with uh, uh, the corresponding side on this connector. Uh, I would just put yourself in a weather pack connector there, so if you ever have to take anything apart. Uh, makes it nice and uh, nice and easy and it's you know going to be secure connection and weather weather tight as well um, But that is pretty simplistic on how to do this and like I said we just uh, de-loom the light part out of the uh, Front harness connector and we're gonna have to loom this all up to make it look nice. I've got it taped already but uh, you'll have a ground 
Uh, let's see if I can find it right here. Uh, here's the ground. I'm gonna run the ground back to this side of the truck. Um, if you have an O, well, if you had an O5 and up truck, you'd have a, obviously a hole on the opposite side, on the passenger side of the truck and the front frame there where you could uh, put that ground into. On this truck, we don't. So we're gonna go ahead and put this up over here. And it's also more convenient for me uh, to do it this way um, since I'm kind of lazy. So I'm just gonna run it to the same one that the PCM is ground to on the front right behind the uh, tow hook on the driver's side. Uh, but it's fairly simplistic. I know this is a quick overview. Uh, I've had many people ask me about this and it's kind of, there's some good information on the internet, but the, the picture for the wiring diagram is kind of hard to follow. So if you get yourself a factory harness, go ahead. You're gonna need uh, two, two little uh, pigtails to go into the PCM if you don't grab the corresponding side off the donor truck. Um, you're gonna go one to pin 42, one to pin 33, then run it down to your uh, connector right here. And like I said, I would get a weather pack connector, just make it nice and clean, and uh, just make it kind of look like you care about what you're doing. Uh, once I get all done with this, it's gonna look like, you know, pretty close to the factory way it was done, minus the incorrect wire color, and you know, the extra looming we're gonna do on the bottom here uh, for, the, uh, for the harness. But you would like to look at, you know, in my opinion, you'd like to make it look as close to the factory as possible and uh, nice and clean and functioning correctly. Uh, after you do add this to your O3 up trucks, you will have to have somebody with HP tuners or EFI Live uh, program the uh, computer to uh, kick on the fans. Uh, you can change the fan settings from factory, but you also do have to modify um, the AC pressures. If you have an O3 through uh, O5 and a half basically truck, you will have to modify the AC pressures in order for the fans to kick on correctly. Um, if anybody has any questions, comment below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. But if you're looking for the proper pinout on the O3F trucks, the there's supposed to be a green wire going to pin 42 with the blue connector. And you're supposed to have a blue wire going to pin 33 on the green connector. Uh, try to keep it, you know, color coordinated. It makes it nice for the next guy that's got to go behind you and possibly diagnose something. Uh, but if not, these are the correct uh, pinouts for you. And uh, do your best to make it happen. Thanks. Have a great day.